Gemini, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. All right, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini? Gemini, if you are having some type of stressful situation, it will end soon. It will end soon. The spirit is with you in this. The spirit is lending you strength and courage to overcome this, whatever this is. I feel like it is meant to be happening in your life because it is uh, almost like sending you a storm so that the storm clears um, the things that are not meant to be in your life, but you are having trouble navigating that and under understanding that. So there will be some type of chaotic energy coming your way, but it, it is only to clear uh, the chaotic energy and to rearrange is what I'm hearing your life so that you begin something new that is aligned with your passion and a lot of people will not be happy about the changes that you will be going through but but you will be in a position here to um, teach someone from that experience so the experience that you will go through will be beneficial for people that are around you so once you get there people will be asking you how did you get there because they will not believe in you while you are going there but they will believe in you when you get there when you get there you will have experience and knowledge to share with people that you could teach and It will heal your broken little heart. So the, the amount of people that didn't trust you will come around and apologize to you because your future is looking brighter than ever by following your intuition, by following your gut feeling. So I see here that whatever happens, follow you, follow yourself, yourself. Okay, so I see here that um, keep pouring in your own cup. Do not waste your time trying to convince people that you are right, that it works. So keep trusting yourself and pouring into your own cup. Do not listen to other people's opinions because their opinions don't really matter. Your opinion of yourself matters the most. So make sure your opinion of yourself is positive is good because that will help you get through the obstacles and the challenges ahead of you to get through what you want or what you meant to be experiencing in your next chapter self-love is very essential here self-care self-love with the empress here when you are in that high vibration other people will notice even if they don't believe in you they will notice that you are 100% sure that things will work out in your favor and that will attract other people to you you might even attract people that are no good but you will also attract people that are good for you so you might have a lot of people that want to take advantage of you or take advantage or suck on your energy that's very good but um, I see here <sighs> okay so some of you will let other people's opinions get into your head and you need to avoid that so if you have people that's come into your life and tell you nonsense about you why should you listen to it 
If someone is planting doubts in you or tries to plant doubts in you, do not let that shit in. Why would you? Because I see here that you might get distracted by other people's opinions and that will delay your blessings. Yeah, that will delay your blessings. So instead of doing that, focus on yourself. This is very straightforward. Like uh, the spirit is, is just uh, focusing on the message here that you need to focus on yourself instead of other people because other people have ill intentions. They might be jealous. They might want what you have and leave. They might want you. They might want to keep you um, on low vibration so that they feel superior. So why would you allow that energy to uh, be in your life? Some of you like to be liked by others, okay? So that's why you're doing that. That's why you allow other people's opinions to get to you because you like to be liked. You like to um, get approval of others or get some type of validation of others. And you need to quit that because it's in the way of you moving towards uh, like a new experience or a new chapter in your life. It's in the way of you um, experiencing something new that is good for you and that is meant for you. If you, if you allow others to continue on uh, making yourself uh, doubt yourself, it will continue on uh, keeping you in balance. And you cannot be imbalanced where you are going, Gemini. You cannot be imbalanced. Okay? Any other message? Because I feel like I'm repeating myself at this time. Wow. Wherever that you are going to, it is the Ten of Pentacles. That's where you're going. That's why people are coming across as challenges. That's why they're acting like obstacles. Do not trust people that uh, pretend to be uh, a know-it-all. They don't know it all. They don't know it all, okay? So, <clears throat> the main thing I, I see here for you, Gemini, is trust yourself. Anything else, because I keep repeating myself. Once you trust yourself, you will attract someone that is a soul connection or an intense connection. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius. But I see here that you will attract someone halfway on the journey of self-discovery here. It will be a catch. It will be an opportunity that you will not miss. But once you trust yourself, because you will only meet this person halfway, of you trusting yourself. So once you trust yourself, you will see or meet someone that is like you, that is victorious like you, that trust themselves like you. So you need to be in that energy to match with this person's energy. But if you allow other people's opinions to dictate how you should be or how you should act then you're not going to meet this person because you will not be matching their energy that's all i have for you yeah look at this new beginning in passion and that is when you trust yourself because you will meet this person halfway i hope this helped gemini i will see you soon